Since Hawken had been created with console in mind, like way back, you'll find the controls to be surprisingly intuitive and in how the mechs move as well. For me, it's especially notable because we actually use all the buttons on the controller, like all of them. And, and once you get a sense for where they are, it's, it's really pretty neat. Uh, bumper jumper for the win, anybody? With the mechs, you couldn't really tell which mech went with which corporation. So one of the things we've created is a new mech web, as it's called. It allows for better explanation of which mechs came from which faction, and it gives a better sense of how to progress through all these mechs. But we've still kept the original grid-based representation of all these mechs together because, hey, they're, they're really pretty cool to see. There's some amazing artwork, some amazing machinery, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy this. For mech design, we wanted to continue the approach of exploring how these, these industrial machines became tailored to fulfill certain tactical roles in the battlefield. And I think, especially with the newer mechs and future mech development, you're going to really be able to feel this and see how these people found novel ways to apply things to a wartime scenario. Early on, our sense was that Hawken is an exceptional team-based shooter, and, and our goal for, for, for how the mech design progresses into the future is that uh, each mech is going to be able to fill more specific and precise roles. Uh, the roles are going to expand, we're going to have more support roles, we want to make sure that there's stronger distance firing mechs, we want to have a, a stronger sense of uh, how you can contribute to your team, especially with the mechs we're releasing in the future, we're going to be building on this goal. Uh, each mech is going to have a more distinct feel, uh, a distinct role. Um, it's going to play off its teammates, and the better you can fill that role within the game and uh, play to the mech's strengths, it's, it's going to be a really enjoyable experience. A lot of the story and lore behind Hawk and that drives all the characters and the mechs and the corporations and factions and everything that happens in the game had not been super clear before. We've been trying to find ways to bring it in. I believe we've made some really good first steps, and I believe we have a foundation which we can significantly grow in the future. You're going to be pretty excited to see what happens. <laughs>